109 to go. This is that uh, left-hander I was telling you about over the river. Suddenly the road will turn into the park and that's where it gets narrow and that's where we have our ascent. We're allowed to call it that, Sean. We've got a ramp to deal with. Yes, well, uh, we have got that ramp to deal with and the riders you are, will be very much aware of that, that uh, this uh, run to the line is a uh, difficult one and yeah, there'll be a lot of riders just wanting to hold off for a bit, a bit longer than they would in a normal sprint because normal sprint on a flat run in would be around the 200 kilometers where they would really oh, kick there oh. we go all over the place too narrow not much space wheel touch men down all over the place let's see where it happened oh my goodness that's knocked out a couple of a uh, uh, couple of likely contenders for today i'm afraid on the deck down hard and yet again Barre and marina find themselves in trouble and i don't think nibbly was up towards the four let's late let's wait and see who's involved in this what Corona a wagon. shame it is uh, uh, that's Van Ert that's, uh, that, uh, I beg your pardon, that's, uh, that's uh, uh, on the... No, you're right. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's the end of Groenewegen for today. You're absolutely right. Christoph over to the right-hand side by the barriers. Sometimes it takes a big man to punch a big hole in the air, and maybe it's going to be him, Michael Morkoff, uh, uh, looking around and searching for teammates, and everybody is. Daniel Oss picks it up right now, and it's time to engage. If you've got anything left, stay off the barriers. Oh, my goodness. That is so, so dangerous. It's a big pickup time, and it's... Buskara, who's gonna is a big man who starts to tuck in here. Matthews has got some options as well. Here we go, 600 yes. meters. Yes, we can see here it's uh, De Corning quick step with uh, uh, the uh, Michael Moore couple was leading out here, and uh, uh, everybody have looked around, and we can see it's uh, still the uh, the team of the. Uh, uh, um, Ducorni who are leading, leading here with the... Uh... But Jay-Z it is that's there, but yes. check this out, Matthews has a look and just behind him is Pedis again, here comes Viviani as well, it's uh, options time, can you spend them, let's wait and see, oh it's Nizzolo as well as also tucked here and here comes Cole Bradley, who's here by him, biding his time, is it too late, has he got what he takes, it's Sagan against Cole Bradley here with Ewan in the middle, there's Matthews as well, uh, Ewan goes the other side of Sagan, big fight back here, oh and they throw it to the line, just just in time. Oh my goodness, I think Sagan just took it and the very last here. What an approach that turned out to be. Was it Turnerson that got himself up in the, in the frame? That was magnificent. But I think Sagan took it, Sean, at the very last. How nervous was that? Well, it was a real fight to the line. We could see the way the riders were just uh, struggling to get to the line there. It looked like uh, Van Aert, actually, from the uh, team that uh, was the one who was coming there in the end. But uh, it was a close one, but uh, it looked like that Sagan might have just uh, held on. Wow, what a finish that turned out to be. A brutal one. All those that fell for that crash was within the last three kilometres, but we said the road had some pinch points. Let's, uh, let's have a look at it right now, Sean. Yes, as we can see here, this crash uh, it was uh, yeah, it was the one in the in the group which uh, caused uh, yeah, caused a lot of problems. We did see there was an AG2R rider that went down there and uh, he went over to the uh, a little bit to the left hand side. And uh, not sure who that is, but it certainly caused a big split in the uh, in the peloton. But yeah, as we as we as we went on from here, um, yeah, it was all Thomas. Uh, on the barriers as well. Let's have a look. Um, picking it up here, Colbrelli was digging in for glory. Just a, ran out of road, essentially. Big push up here. Um, well worked, I have to say, towards the line. And it was uh, Mike Turnison um, who... Ooh, do you know what? I think he took it. Turnison, it was ahead of Sagan by my reading from that uphead shot. What a finish that was. Remarkable. Mike Turnerson has been declared the winner. Beats Peter Sagan at the line. Caleb Ewan on the ramps, always there. Colbrelli was in the frame, uh, but Ewan in front of him. What a finish. And Turnerson proving just how keyed up and dialed in Jumbo Wismar were for this finish. Dylan Groenewegen hitting the line, but the man who was supposed to start off the approach was there. So was Janssen. And Mike Turnison, they had a fallback position, Sean, that was a luxury in the end on a day that tested so many to the limit.